to say. I've already paid the taxes on a petition that is supposed to be verified by the Attorney General, but it's actually not signed by the Attorney General. It's signed by the Assistant Attorney General, even though presumably he signed on with five other people from his office. Apparently, it's supposed to be dated for today, and it's supposed to be targeting the county clerk in Harris County around ballots that are being mailed. It doesn't have the timestamp on it as uh, if it had been received and acknowledged by the court. But the ironic thing is, is it's dated for exactly 31 days or a month after the three-year anniversary on my motion for a restraining order. And this petition is original verified petition and application for temporary restraining order, temporary injunction, and permanent injunction. I mean, it's completely conceded for me to think that the attorney general, the so-called actual attorney general of the state of Texas would get five other people from his office to sign on to a petition for a restraining order against a county clerk when it comes to sending out mail-in ballots. Here's the problem. I believe this is a form of attempting to compel people into acceding to give their consent to the weaponization of mail-in ballots. And one of the indicators is that it explicitly says, and let me make sure that I uh, get the actual text and read it from the document. Just give me a second. The state seeks an injunction against Hollins to prevent him from sending over 2 million applications for mail ballots to every registered voter in Harris County. There's no way all five of them, along with the Attorney General, actually read this and didn't know exactly what that kind of wording in the first paragraph of this alleged uh, petition means. It's difficult for me to continue reading the, the rest of it. It has 50 points. It has a 50-day benchmark, and it's 14 pages long. It's also notarized by somebody that does not have a bond. This is absolutely 100% an act of securities fraud. And more than that, I believe it is a crime, a high, high crime. It discusses concepts of waiver of sovereign immunity and ultra virus action. But I kind of take it personally because I sat in my room here and cried my ass off for 45 minutes after finding what was encoded as a sort of homicidal act, if not genocidal. And one of the cases in here has a named reference that upon a search is connected to a man born May 12th of 1886 in Romania, who apparently was a uh, survivor of the Holocaust. They've been doing a lot of illicit activity with this alleged Commission on Holocaust and the Genocide in the state of Texas. As a matter of fact, this year, presumably, it's supposed to be before the uh, sunset, it's supposed to be at a, having its sunset review before the state of Texas. Is this what they were planning to do with it? I don't really know what more to say, except that somebody really needs to intervene in whatever these people in Texas that think that they have a bar membership and the entitlement to represent themselves as if they are actual administrators of government process or doing. I think this is an attempt to try to solicit from people in Texas consent to use the election process in some sort of act of war. Based on other references in this petition, I think I have an understanding of what they intend to do with it. Um, and more than that, it may be an attempt to solicit a bribe or a kickback from an auditing firm that is very much a part of the police pension system that was connected to my request for a restraining order that was apparently transmitted or received on July 31st of 2017 and was denied by August 1st. So... You know, if it were up to me, not only would this be denied, but uh, the attorney general would be bought in for questioning before the appropriate tribunal. And I would also be checking right now if the governor or anybody at the governor's office was in communication with anybody at the Texas Workforce, uh, with the Texas Veterans Commission, and anybody who thinks that they have uh, some sort of relationship with the Veterans Administration Program in the state of Texas.